oh man, I'm in trouble. I have this box, but I need some padding because you can see this text is way too close to the edges of this box. But there is hope. Bootstrap 5 padding to the rescue. In this video, I'll talk about how padding works relates to the distance, but I'll also talk about how padding works on just two sides of the box, also on one side of the box. At the very end, stick around because we're going to talk about responsive padding, how you can add padding with breakpoints in Bootstrap 5. What's up, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes, and I'm all about helping you build better websites. So we're taking a look at the Bootstrap 5 padding. Now I have this text right here that needs some spacing because right now it is way too crowded in this text. In this design, I'm using the bootstrap template, nothing crazy going on. And what I've added was the container to make sure I have the breakpoints from XXL to XL to large, medium, small, and mobile, which is now default in bootstrap five. So if I wanna quickly add some padding to this design, all I have to do if I want it on all four sides of this padding is type P, maybe I can find the letter P, and either zero through five. Now this will go up in numbers from zero being no padding, I'll explain down the road why that's actually really important, to five, which is three times the rem or the root EM. So if I say P5, Notice how all four sides get padding. So by default, you can add padding five through zero to enhance your padding. What I generally do is I usually shoot from the hip because the padding will take its parent or root and adjust the multiplying factor from zero, meaning no padding to five or three times the rem. So what I usually do is I kind of assess saying, do I want a little padding with one? Where I have a little bit, that's not enough. Then I'll usually go three and go, all right, that's a little better. Or I have to go to the granddaddy, which is five and give it a lot of padding. So I use those numbers one through five and there is a zero to assess do I want a little or I want a lot of padding. Now also note that all four sides added padding. That's because I have not delineated which side I want padding on. So if I want padding only on the X axis, which in Bootstrap 5 is the start and end of the design, then I'm gonna type PX5. Now when I save that and refresh the page, now note that that top and bottom went away and I only have padding on the X and Y or on the X axis for the start and end. Now there's the X axis, which goes across. So there's a Y axis that goes top and bottom. So if I want padding on the top and bottom, now I'm gonna say P Y five. And if I save that, now note that the padding goes from the sides to the top and bottom. That's how you can add padding on the top and bottom. But let's say I only want padding just on the top. So how the, not new numbers, how the text works is I'm gonna say PT for top. Now I only have padding on the top or in one side. Here's the thing about Bootstrap 5. If I want the left and right, which is now start and end, I have to say PS for the left and PE for the right. So I'm gonna say PS5, and now there's padding on the left-hand side. And PE for end, now there's padding on the right-hand side. And if it's T for top, it's gonna be B for bottom. And then I'll add PB5. Now here's the thing. This is gonna be added on all breakpoints. So if I, let's just go back to pa paragraph. I was gonna say P for paragraph. Padding five. Now if I add it on all four sides, all of the breakpoints will incorporate that padding. Let's say I do not want padding on the mobile, or let's say I only want one for the mobile. We'll say zero for this example. So let's say this is way too big. I do not want this on the mobile. Here's the big thing about Bootstrap 5. It's mobile first. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say P0 
That's going to take off all of the padding. Then I'm going to do is I'm going to say P S M for small, the next breakpoint beyond the mobile, and I'll say five. What this is going to do is everything smaller and higher as in medium, large, XL, and double XL is going to have the padding of five except for the mobile size. So the minute I come out of the mobile framework and I hit the small, and I actually refresh the page, which could actually help because it didn't work. So mobile size, no padding, small size, all padding. So I can adjust this because mobile is imperatively important because I don't only have a limited amount of space on a mobile environment. So what I would do to make this look even better is I would add like a pair, I keep saying paragraph, padding two for the mobile, and then eventually go, okay, padding small three, and then padding MD five to give it the most padding. So as it grows smaller, there's less padding. Let me refresh the page, don't forget. So now I have the padding mobile defaulted to, uh, to two, then I have padding small three, and then as it gets to medium, large, and XL, and XXL, we're gonna hit the five, which is three rem of its parent. I was able to achieve those breakpoints of medium, small, and mobile by default by utilizing the container. If you're curious of how the container works in relation to the grid, I have a video right here that will help you explain and utilize the full power of the Bootstrap 5 container and grid as well. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.